welcome to another course in the Step 2000 series, Siemens Technical Education Program, designed to prepare our distributors to sell. Siemens Energy and Automation Products More Effectively This course covers basics of PLCs and related products. Upon completion of basics of PLCs you should be able to identify the major components of a PLC and describe their functions convert numbers from decimal to binary, BCD, and hexadecimal identify typical discrete and analog inputs and outputs read a basic ladder logic diagram and statement list identify operational differences between different S7-200 models identify the proper manual to refer to for programming or installation of an S7-200 PLC connect a simple discrete Input and output to an S7-200 Select the proper expansion module for analog inputs and outputs Describe the operation of timers and counters 3 This knowledge will help you better understand customer applications. In addition, you will be better able to describe products to customers and determine important differences between products. You should complete basics of electricity before attempting basics of PLCs. An understanding of many of the concepts covered in basics of electricity is required for basics of PLCs. In addition you may wish to complete basics of control components. Devices covered in basics of control components are used with programmable logic controllers, PLCs, Programmable logic controllers, also referred to as programmable controllers, are in the computer family. They are used in commercial and industrial applications. A PLC monitors inputs, makes decisions based on its program, and controls outputs to automate a process or machine. This course is meant to supply you with basic information on the functions and configurations of PLCs. Basic PLC oper PLCs consist of input modules or points, a central processing unit, CPU, and output modules or points. An input accepts a variety of digital or analog signals from various field devices, sensors, and converts them into a logic signal that can be used by the CPU. The CPU makes decisions and executes control instructions based on program instructions in memory. Output modules convert control instructions from the CPU into a digital or analog signal that can be used to control various field devices, actuators. A programming device is used to input the desired instructions. These instructions determine what the PLC will do for a specific input. An operator interface device allows process information to be displayed and new control parameters to be entered. Push buttons, sensors, in this simple example, connected to PLC inputs, can be used to start and stop a motor connected to a PLC through a motor starter, actuator. Hardwired control prior to PLCs, many of these control tasks were solved with contactor or relay controls. This is often referred to as hardwired control. Circuit diagrams had to be designed, electrical components specified and installed, and wiring lists created. Electricians would then wire the components necessary to perform a specific task. If an error was made the wires had to be reconnected correctly. A change in function or system expansion required extensive component changes and rewiring. Vantages of PLCs, the same, as well as more complex tasks, can be done with a PLC. Wiring between devices and relay contacts is done in the PLC program. Hard wiring, though still required to connect field devices, is less intensive. Modifying the application and correcting errors are easier to handle. 
it is easier to create and change a program in a PLC than it is to wire and rewire a circuit. Following are just a few of the advantages of PLCs, smaller physical size than hard wire solutions. Easier and faster to make changes. PLCs have integrated diagnostics and override functions. Diagnostics are centrally available. Applications can be immediately documented. Applications can be duplicated faster and less expensively. Even Siemens PLCs Siemens makes several PLC product lines in the Somatic Registered Trademark S7 family. They are S7-200, S7-300, and S7-400. S7-200 The S7-200 is referred to as a micro PLC because of its small size. The S7-200 has a brick design which means that the power supply and I.O. are on board. The S7-200 can be used on smaller, Standalone applications such as elevators, car washes, or mixing machines. It can also be used on more complex industrial applications such as bottling and packaging machines. S7-300 and S7-400 The S7-300 and S7-400 PLCs are used in more complex applications that support a greater number of I.O. points. Both PLCs are modular and expandable. The power supply and I.O. consist of separate modules connected to the CPU. Choosing either the S7-300 or S7-400 depends on the complexity of the task and possible future expansion. Your Siemens sales representative can provide you with additional information on any of the Siemens PLCs.